Yesterday, for the first time ever, I decided to see what the hype is about working out twice a day. And I've burnt a total of 2,010 calories. <coughs> I am dying. What did you do with your time yesterday, huh? I bet you didn't even work out once, you freaking loser. But the whole hype was a lie. I, I am in pain. It looks like, like five people jumped me yesterday. They were beating me for like three hours. This is how my body feels right now. Everything hurts. I was in bed until 1 p.m. today. And I woke up at 11. And people say, oh, it's just the beginning. You will get used to the routine. You will be become part of your life. Fuck that life. I, I don't want that life. Stick to working out once a day. But today's uh, topic, today's video, what we're going to talk about is uh, Timu a scam. There's a lot of allegations going around that Timo steals your information, uh, goes into your phone, sees ugly pictures of you, uh, steals your credit card information. Basically, it's uh, the products are too cheap and too good to be true. Let's now talk about whether Timu is in fact a spyware app designed to spy on Americans from China. Timu is a communist China-based app and site, and as you shop, Timu monitors your activity on other apps, tracks your notifications, locations, and can potentially change the settings on your phone. Now, before you poop your pants and say, Kush, I bought something from Timu. I use my credit card. What if they steal money from me? Well, first of all, if you shop from Timu, if, when they check your credit card information, uh, they check how much balance you have in your account, they're going to send you money because they're going to feel bad. But there's a lot of videos and rumors going around. Either Timu is good or bad. There's a lot of influencers getting paid to advertise, as a matter of fact, I got an email saying they will pay me a four figure to advertise Timu in mid 2023. So the mystery remains, is Timu stealing your information? Are they uh, installing malware into your, you know, viruses into your phones and tracking your other apps, what you're doing, what kind of haram websites you're visiting? Are they hacking into your front camera and seeing your uh, daily activities? Probably you sitting looking down with your chin down the camera and eating food and watching TikTok videos all day? Let's start from the beginning. Timu was invented in 2022 and within a few months they became one of the biggest i don't know product apps accessory apps whatever it is on the in the re basically in the world why did they become so huge because of their marketing team because of the, all the advertisements they've been putting out all the influencers advertising it and the fact that everything around the world is so expensive now and timo coming in with the similar products well they're fake but they're coming with similar products with like one tenth of the price. And the stinginess inside us comes out and we'll be like, why should we pay like $500 for a piece of item where we can pay $10? This is literally a video that I found, an ad video with 34 million views. Many people say that Timu is a scam, but today I bought their claimed $0 watch. At first glance, the watch is well built and comes with a magnetic charger that easily clicks. I wanna see how the politicians in the US react to this. Chinese spy, they will track your movement. They will track your calories from China if you use this and if you wear this. Why is it zero dollars, bro? Well, at the same time, I don't really trust anything anyone gives me for free. I'm like, what is the catch? It can't be just for marketing. Imagine how many people place an order for zero dollar watch. What is the catch? Now, before we continue, if you do not press that subscribe button and like right now, I've already installed a malware, spyware, whatever it is on your phone, and I've seen the nasty shit that you do. By just clicking on my YouTube videos, I am already inside your phone. So I'm, I'm just saying, if you don't subscribe, I already told you, I already warned you. And like I said, there's a lot of big influencers like this guy, Mr. Who's the Boss with 18 million subs. He promoted Timo basically saying, I bought my sister's dream then with only Timo products. I'm about to surprise my sister by turning her junkyard of a bedroom into a dream setup by only spending $500 on this new website, Timu. Now, these people with a lot of influence are definitely going to get a big chunk of money in their pocket and they're going to influence people to download it and be like, oh my God, I can get all of these for free. And the reason why I didn't accept that four figure that Timo offered me is because I don't want to come back with the apology video just because I promoted you and all of you got scammed. A few months ago, I even logged in Timu when I first heard about it and I was like, well, let's see why oh, the prices are so cheap. It's similar to Xi'an. Now, what is the difference between Xi'an and Timo? The same, same. Just Xi'an doesn't come and gives the free stuff. They give you like 20, 30% discount. And I shop a lot from Xi'an because I trust them. Even though Timo and Xi'an, they're both Chinese, but Xi'an doesn't have this kind of reputation. There's a lot of people who came across and talked bad about Timo. It's not like they have beef with some random billionaire in uh 
uh, in Ch China, there, there is something that they come and talk about. And I had some stuff picked out on before I pressed place in order. My brother told me, watch out, there are some bad allegations against them. After I read the allegations, I haven't found anything confirmed, but it still wasn't worth the bargain. It wasn't worth it for me to place the order place in order someone on reddit five months ago posted this timo stole my information basically a guy a random guy he saw deals going on in timo he heard about it for the first time he installed it and after 10 minutes he uninstalled it after he got a notification from his phone that said approved facebook ad basically what is claiming what is alleged is uh, timo hacked into his phone uh, put a timo advertising on his f facebook page and he has to pay for it why because the timo app said uh, hello i am taking permission to take over your phone and the guy most of us don't even read that and we just pay yes sure we, we think it's just some notification or whatever it is and these notifications come from many other apps they say are you are we allowed to get into your phone and without us reading because we're not in the mood we're like yes 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 do what you want and little do we know they can track what we're doing they can track whatever it is but mainly apps don't do it because they're legit and they don't want they can catch a lawsuit basically it's illegal to do any type of uh, anything like this the max these digit companies do is take your data sell it to some companies and next day you get a call hello are you interested in this real estate property but what i believe the catch with timo is they're trying to take your information trying to sell it to other people or maybe they have even bigger plans because china is being extremely quiet about things and just you know all of a sudden like old chinese carks came into the market Maybe they have bigger plans. Maybe this is part of the government thing. Nothing is confirmed yet, but they definitely have access. Anything you do, they will have access into your credit cards. They will have access to all your information. The second you place an order, it will be illegal for them to take your card information, but not impossible. Someone also said Timo is very sketchy. I've heard a lot about abusing people's data, overcharging them, stuff like that. I've seen more than a few orders something and have their credit card stolen. Now, all these things are alleged. There's no evidence on this. Even there's a lot of lawsuits against Timo. The ratings are going down, but they're still up on advertising. And there's still, what, how many? We have 8 billion. How many more creatures are in this earth? There's still a lot of people who are going to discover this, and they are too lazy to do their research about it to see if it is actually a scam or not now personally i buy my stuff usually from amazon for clothing and these things i buy it from Shein. it's a hit or miss with Shein, to be honest sometimes you're very happy with it sometimes you just throw it in the garbage but there hasn't been anything sus going on with Shein. to be honest That's one of the reasons i keep on shopping there now going on the app they said there's like eight offer with not up to 95 percent off on electronics literally earbuds for like 21 dirhams which is like four or five dollars we got all these things which are like what ten dollars seven dollars fifteen dollars and this is a mouse for like one dollar two dollars now back to the million dollar question is it safe to shop from timu personally i would not risk it the allegations might be false because there's still no evidence about any of this it's just words flying in the air personally i wouldn't risk it i would not even log in with my google accounts or log in with my uh, put my credit card information down until these allegations go away or people you know we we find the truth either way either it's something or it's not the truth will eventually come out but if you have like bought something from timu or you know you have any experience good or bad from timu let me know in the comments below and just because your favorite influencer comes out and tells you to purchase something this is good for you this is only oh my god 500 dollars you can buy all these things or you can set up a whole room with only 500 dollars doesn't mean it's something good people they're getting paid they are getting i, I get paid to promote stuff literally remember with a what last month we made a video about online courses or a scam about iman about iman ghazi about these kind of guys like i said paying two thousand dollars and up for courses doesn't mean the value is more literally someone made a comment on that video i won't forget it someone said they're getting they're paying for someone to yell at them about how to do your shit straight when your parents already yell at you for free get your shit together this is how you need to do it and the funny thing is a online course company reached out through email direct messages they try to get a hold of me of promoting their online classes the right way and they offered me a four figure dollar amount as well 
I was this close on accepting it and backing up on my word and saying, guys, online classes are actually a good thing and give me the money because, you know, I'm broke and I, <laughs> I need it. But no, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Why? Because money comes and goes, but reputation stays. Quote, kush. Anyways, that was it for today's video. Yalla, bye.